I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I promise I didn't really know much about Pretty Little Thing until I saw Kylie Jenner wear this orange $35 dress. She looked really great in it and it piqued my interest, so I went to the website, ordered all of these pieces to see what they look like in real life. So this jumpsuit is from Kourtney Kardashian's collaboration with Pretty Little Thing, and that is why I wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to see if it would look the same on me as it did a 5'2 Kardashian sister. Now, the tag says it's a US 6, but I mean, look at it. I, it looks like a 10 or a 12. It is supposed to be oversized, so I will give them that. However, this entire thing is longer than my whole body. What am I gonna do with this? You're definitely gonna have to budget in money for your tailor because it is incredibly long. Like, guys, I'm talking this much bunching long. Now, I got my regular size, but I think that I probably should have sized down at least two to three sizes to get it to fit the way it should have. And I would most likely still need a tailor. If you're like six foot tall, this is a jumpsuit for you because it will most likely fit your 36 inseam really well. I have a 28 to 30 inseam, so unless it fits you perfectly straight out of the bag, I'd pass. This is the dress that Kylie Jenner wore to their US launch party and really put Pretty Little Thing on the map for me. I think it'll be really flattering, so we'll see what it looks like on. Kylie Jenner, you did it. I'm totally sold on this dress. I think it looks great on my body, if I do say so myself. As I expected, the orange totally pops, and perhaps this is TMI, but I'm not wearing a bra, and I think it looks great. If I was going out in Miami, or if I was going to a club in Vegas, I would totally pack this dress to go along. I think it looks great with heels, but I also think that you could wear it with gold flat sandals or gold high heels. You could wear it either way. White jeans are, in one word, tricky. Sometimes they're see-through, sometimes they give you sausage knees. I'm excited to try these on because they're a thicker fabric, which means they have probably have like a nice structure to them. I went with a pair of mom jeans because they generally have a higher waist, which means they'll suck you in a little bit and will look really great with a crop top or a tube top and you can wear them all summer long. So, I am extremely happy and surprised to report that these are actually some of the best white jeans I've ever tried on. Trust me, I've been in this business for over 10 years, have tried on probably hundreds of pairs of white jeans, and these are my favorite. And they're only $38. So there's steel. They look way more expensive. I think it has something to do with the stiff material and how it just really sucks you right in. I will wear these all the time. I ordered this coat because somebody on my team suggested I should. I think it's really adorable. Camel coats have gone from being a trend to exactly the thing that you need in your wardrobe much like a denim jacket or a blazer. I think this is a new classic that every woman should own. When you look on the tag, it says one size fits all, which could be great or it could be terrifying. In this case, it's great. I love the way this collar lays. I think that the sleeves hit exactly where they should be and there are real pockets. So I can go like this. I love it. Great job. As I was scrolling through Pretty Little Thing, I noticed that the model who was wearing this two-piece was also on Fashion Nova. So that gives you an idea of body type and how this could possibly look on a curvier body. I had also just seen the Claremont twins on Instagram, so I decided that I'm gonna do my own little Claremont twins, Kim Kardashian look, and give some biker shorts and a racer tank a try. Now, you guys may be wondering why I'm wearing this coat over this halter top and biker short situation, and it's because this halter top shows off every bump and curve that may be underneath, so I do like these pants, though. 
I think they're kind of cute. They're very comfortable. Since I'm doing this in the name of research, I will take off the coat and give you an idea of what it actually looks like in real life. As you can see, it cuts up a little high here. So a regular strapless bra will not do. You may have to tape your boobs or not wear a bra at all. It's up to you. Comment below and let me know how you would style it. I love a flamenco inspired anything. I think this is such a fun little dress that you could go dancing in. Generally speaking, I am for an exposed zipper. I really like the way they look. I think this one is a little too shiny for my taste and not exactly where I would like it to be, but all in all, it's fine. This dress is $75, but it looks like it could easily cost way more than that. It's pretty weighty. It has a nice little structure to it. So I think that it could be incredibly flattering and worth the money. All things considered, I actually really like this dress. I will say that I went on the smaller side. So I took a four instead of taking a six. And if I had to do it again, I would take a six. But don't let that deter you from getting this dress. I actually think it's really flattering. You can strike a cute little pose. If you wanted to change into something cheaper for your wedding reception, this is a dress I would recommend. I haven't even tried this dress on yet, but I'm not so convinced. This dress is also $75, but as you can see, this white one has a little more weight to it, a little better of a structure. So it's not necessarily what you pay for. I think it's more of just like the construction and the quality. I think I was a little hard on this dress. On the hanger, I didn't really love it, but on form, I don't really hate it. So I'm halfway in the middle. I do still wish that the sequins were not hanging from the gown, but maybe that's just the design, right? That being said, I think it fits well. I like this slit. I think that it's an appropriate height. Still looks classy. And I think that if you wanna spend under $100 for a dress, this would not be a bad choice. This would be a really great dress for a black tie wedding, anything super formal where you needed a dress really quickly, this would be something that you could choose. I love a silky blouse. I think they're incredibly flattering, very versatile, and everyone should have one in their closet. So when I saw this one, it is short sleeve, which means I can wear it all summer long, and it ties a little bit in the front, which means it cuts right across my soon to be coming in abs. I'm very meh on this top. I don't hate it, I don't love it. If my brother gave it to me for my birthday, I'd be happy to accept it. I'd probably even wear it a couple of times, but I am not sure about just its general fit. And I do think that I got my right size. A lot of you guys like to say I didn't buy my right size, but I know I did. So I think that this is maybe just not like a very flattering shirt on me, but maybe I'm being hard on myself. Let me know in the comments.